Hey, good evening, Michael Map here. Bring you a little bit longer video compared to the quick YouTube shorts that I recap the futures, the biggest losers and winners in today's uh, marketplace. Um, we we pretty much on a on a standstill right now, waiting till tomorrow's uh, report, um, which I I just don't foresee why it will not come out hot. The consumer, uh, the CPI consumer price index. Um, and uh, it, the definition of the CPI is a measure of the change in the average price level of a fixed basket of goods and services purchased by consumers. Monthly changes in the CPI represent the rate of inflation for the consumer. Annual inflation is also closely watched. So that's the big report tomorrow. Obviously, uh, the street thinks if it's if it's cooler, then that means the Fed can either stop raising interest rates or even start cutting interest rates in the near future with uh, with the inflation going down. Now, the inflation mandate for the Fed is 2%, and they're a ways from there right now. So I just don't see how they're going to get there. But we'll see. people, And that's why people say it's going to be a soft landing or a crash or a hard landing or a recession whatever you want to call it. I just know that the price of oil is right now at almost 90 bucks a barrel, and that's inflationary, folks. Uh, diesel is uh, up there again, and all these goods get moved by trucks and planes and ships, and that's an input cost that, that is going to affect the, uh, the inflation uh, outcome here. So I'm expecting a hotter than, uh, than usual uh, report. If we go down... Then uh, the next one will be hotter because uh, maybe the the uh, energy prices which have crept up uh, will will finally show up in the next reports. Um, in regards to the action, I mean the VIX right now is trading at fourteen sixty four on both future products here, and the VIX also is at fourteen twenty three. Um, I you know I would like to see it higher, especially being a premium seller. Um, my activity today uh, was pretty non-existing. One fill, I have sixty-one orders working mainly for fifty percent profits. Um, only one fill today in this account, and uh, picked up some advanced auto part and Dollar General. Just add a couple shares to to uh, keep adding to the average. I got assigned. Dollar Tree, which uh, I closed out my 100 shares and the um, put that I had cover, covering me. So I closed that covered put and call, uh, and stock that I was assigned. Um, closed Google for 50% and Neo for 50%. So basically like five or six trades, not much happening um, in the uh, in the markets waiting for... Um, for the for the CPI and for what the Fed's gonna say um, in the future, um, and I think they have a rain announcement here coming up in September too. Ten year almost at four thirty. Um, the dollar is at one o four fifty six on the dollar index. So the dollar has bounced back some um, and has been pretty resilient. Uh, Bitcoin 26k oil like I said almost a 90 s and p 4512 after a sell off today we're pretty much flat waiting for the news tomorrow gold sold off to 1935 copper well under four dollars dr copper is a re a recessionary uh, indicator and it's trading like ones around the corner uh hogs 85 cents feeders 255 185 on the cattle so Beef prices are staying steady there. Small caps, 1873, really on that low range. Um, NASDAQ is actually up a dollar uh, at 15.5. Dow Jones almost at 35K. Net gas, 274. Palladium and Platinum, they always seem to be at 900 and 1200 for the most part. Um, silver, 23, over 23 bucks. Uh, we talked about the VIX and the grains. Wheat and corn are definitely uh, down there. Soybeans are hanging around the 13s. And those markets have been pretty steady as well. Um, 
we will we'll probably get more gyrations tomorrow uh that is what i'm assuming with with the feds news um i haven't looked into uh the apple 15 um it's not like if i'm gonna change my phone for the 15 uh i i gotta look and see what the new things are but i can't imagine it being too much different uh cdc recommends updated covid vaccine for everyone ages six months and up mm, interesting Warren calls for investigation into Elon Musk and Starlink in Ukraine. Google used monopolistic feedback loop to maintain search dominance. DOG, DOJ alleges Oracle got slammed. I was short Oracle and I was taking pain in Oracle. Um, but it was actually one of my bigger, bigger winners today um, in Oracle. I've been short into the earnings and it actually had... Uh, blasted me let's see here oracle so yeah oracle right here big winner on the day for me big change here up 348 on the oracle um so um what else let's see here we'll look at the news ford to double f-150 hybrid pickup production as ev sales growth slows um on the car front i've been pretty busy i haven't done videos uh for a couple days i can't remember when was my last videos and thank you tejas for for um for always pushing me uh and and mentioning to do videos uh sometimes i get caught up with the everydays and uh, i did the ism one five days ago in shorts i hadn't done one since um uh, doesn't tell me here let me see in the studio let's see what studio uh five days ago so yeah it was five days ago that i hadn't done anything um basically i after the um game i did a couple of shorts that's funny do a um short and it gets 500 views that's incredible um they get they get they get a lot of views those sports ones yeah so i went to that game and the kings beat texas a&m um, and I think they're in the top 25. Top 25. Um, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I did that Friday, Saturday. What did I do Saturday? I'll watch the UFC fight. Great fight. Uh, I can't believe uh, Strickland beat on his son. Uh, that was definitely a good good ufc a lot of good matches in there that De definitely awesome um sunday watch football the dolphins got a nice nice win and uh too bad for aaron Rodgers. he got hurt last night that sucks man i feel really bad for him um that's pretty much it for him i think they they uh they uh said he, he, it was torn um aaron Rodgers injury uh off for the season yeah complete terror of acl and the then the bills uh man they 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 let that game get away they i think they th thought they had that game in the bag and and josh allen too many turnovers uh he he threw i think three picks and fumbled the ball so early in the nfl season um and tejas a rangers fan and an og here on the channel my brother, me and you, uh, the fish, are there fighting for a wild card. Uh, Texas is actually crept into the third spot ahead of Seattle by half a game. And the Marlins are uh, dwindling back one and a half. And um, there's not many games left. I think uh, 70 and 74 is 144. So 18 games left. It's going to be tough. So I actually have Marlin tickets for this weekend. I did sell two. I need to sell two more. Uh, my kiddo plays at the same time. So will not be able to go. Um, let's see what University of Miami jumped up in the standings. So they're ranked 22. They got moved up to 22. Let's, let's see if they have the NCAA. CA football. College football is very cool, man. 
Uh, so Georgia won, Michigan two, Florida State's really good. Texas beat Alabama, USC, Ohio State, Penn State, Washington, Notre Dame. Alabama dropped to 10. Tennessee, Utah. Utah had a good match against, I think uh, I was watching, it was Baylor. Damn, well, that TV's loud. Your dad's deaf. Oregon, LSU, Kansas State, Oregon State, Mississippi, Colorado. Oh, Colorado. Great story with Deion Sanders over there. Rooting for him over there. Pretty cool. Uh, Oklahoma, UNC, Duke, Miami, Washington, UC, UCLA, and Iowa. So college football is in full swing, folks. Um, gotta love it. Back to the um, the stock. Sorry to get off on my uh, baseball and sports rant. Um, BP CEO Looney resigns after not being fully transparent on prior relationship. North Korea arrives in Russia. Moscow says it doesn't care about U.S. warnings over meaning. Uh, too much geopolitical stuff going on. I need to do some research on the uh, iPhone. Don't know what's going on there. I've been kind of out of the loop because the markets aren't doing much. And I look at the markets every day, but there hasn't been doing much. So, And I have a lot of positions on um, from the little last... Uh, gyration and i'm just waiting i'm about all my position for the most part in october um and i'll manage them at 21 days um what else so we got the cpi tomorrow it's not really there's really not a lot that i like out there i gotta do more homework on the apple deal i know there was some news on that china wanted to bar apple and that's why Apple has gone down and used their uh, Huawei or Highway or Huawei. I don't know how you say it. Uh, phone. Um, here are the most active options. Tesla was down six. Apple three. So they got some 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 issues over there with uh, with uh, China. Oracle got killed. NVIDIA has been pretty range-bound. Amazon. Amazon had a nice bump. AMC has been destroyed. AMD has been pretty range-bound. Intel has been perking up because um, the simple fact that if they ban the iPhone in China and use Huawei or Highway or whatever you call it, then Intel will benefit from using their chips here eventually um, on home soil. Uh, Bank of America, pretty flat. Meta, uh, pretty range-bound. Disney has been punished. <clears throat> Ken View is from uh, Johnson & Johnson spinoff. Citigroup, Ford, Microsoft. There's really not much that, I, that I'm like, wow. That I'm really, really like, this thing is acting really well or doing really well. Um... Carvana remark, remark, is remarkable. It's hanging around 50 bucks. Um, I don't know how a firm is trending at 23, but everywhere I go, I ask you if you want to use a firm on any website. It's pretty crazy. Uh, it's mind boggling. Even, even for airfare, I was like in shock when I was looking at it the other day. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, when it comes up, I'll, I'll say it. Uh, the ones I really like are Eli Lilly and NVO uh, on that weight fr weight loss front. CVS seems to be very undervalued here. Um, UPS is just getting pummeled. That's another one that's starting to look pretty pretty good. Um, undervalued. Eli Lilly is going to hit 600. It's almost at 600. Uh, Adobe. I don't know if Adobe had earnings today, but they were down 22. There's, oh, that's another thing I was going to say. There's not a lot of earnings, so there's not a lot of stuff to play either. I know Advanced Auto Part was down 5 today. I think they downgraded their <coughs> their bonds, I think it was. Um, they're, they're, I think they're getting cheap, uh, and people need parts. I don't know what's going on. I need to do some more homework there, but it seems like a decent uh, a play. Um, I think they're a 2 or $3 billion company. What else? Super Microcomputer down 9. Avago Fort down 14. IBM down 
2, Crowd Strike 2. Dollar General is another one. I think, I mean, 123, that's cheap. And Dollar Tree, these dollar stores have gotten hammered. Um, and they're everywhere. And people still, you know, use them. Uh, Lee Auto at 40. It's a Chinese um, automaker. Oh, I know what I was going to chime in on the cars. So, used car market. Um, I've had a couple. I was talking about the videos. I haven't done videos. Um, I was actually pretty busy on the weekend with work. And surprisingly, the last couple of days have picked up with um, some franchise dealers, but in other states out of Florida. Um, there's a lot of. Uh, uh, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uncertainty right now in the car market because of the UAW, the, the workers that they might strike uh, with GM and Ford and um, dealers are kind of uh, worried um, because there might not be a lot of new, new car supply. So I think they're gobbling up a lot of used cars too. They, some some are. I mean, it, it's the car market is kind of speculative, just like the stock market, because prices do fluctuate big. Now, on our end here, prices did go up for the week, so prices and they're gobbling up small cars, cheap cars. It's hard to find cars that are decent under twenty grand, uh, used cars. Um, and I think that there's maybe a forty five day supply of that stuff through the auctions and stuff. So. Um, you know, I think people like Carvana and Auto Nation and um, CarMax should be in a decent position, I think. Um, and the new car makers too, but they just gotta they gotta figure out something because these cars are outrageously priced, um, and people can't afford it. I, I was reading, I was reading an article: half of Americans can't afford. Uh, a four hundred dollar payment. That's what the average, uh, thing got, um, cost is. It was an art. It was the guy from. Um, I think he was from Cox. Uh, well, let me finish through here and I see if I can find that. It'll end it there on the, on the, um, on the car prices. A couple of oil names that were up. I'm sure there's some value out there in the oil sector. Um, so you can play those through XOP or XLE also um, on pullbacks. So I don't mind those. Uh, restoration has been really beat up. I think Warren Buffett owned that stock. Yeah, but the ones I really like are Eli Lilly and, and, and this one right here was actually down today. Novo was down two bucks under 200 um let me see if uh cox automotive on car prices lose Used vehicle prices may have bottomed for 2023 after August increase. There was there was a guy that I heard. I'll try and find it, but yeah, man, prices are seem like they'll be ticking up, and they might just stay here firm. Anyways, like the, like the channel, subscribe, uh, share the share the uh, the video, uh, comment below, and I'll check you on the flip side. Bye bye.